Hey guys, get ready to enhance the cool factor and user experience by changing that list into this one using emojis. Didn't know that that was possible in the ServiceNow platform? What? First up in our journey is going to be to navigate to images under system UI in order to make the platform a little bit cooler. You'll see here a bunch of images that I've imported and I wanna walk you through the steps of bringing one in yourself. So next we're going to click new. We're gonna add a name here for our image. Make sure that you add the extension there for the file name. It has to be like a .png, otherwise you're gonna get that error right there. Once we bring in the image, one thing we're gonna notice is that it will display. And also one thing I found was that the height and width for this exercise of 160 is about optimal. And there we go, our images appear. And again, here are some of the other ones that I've already brought in. Okay, kids, the next step in this journey is to click on Field Styles under System UI. Now, I'm gonna walk you through about three of these, one of which you might already have seen before. It's going to be the caller ID.vip. So essentially what's happening in this one here is that we're saying current dot caller ID, which is the name of the field, dot VIP, which is coming off the sys user table, is true. So if it is true, then this image will display and we'll notice that the field name is caller. One thing to note was that I followed the same example that was out of the box, meaning 16 pixels for the background sizing. And that seemed to be just right, or as I like to refer to it as Goldilocks. Now we can take a look at this one here. Contact type, we'll notice, is the field name and the value is contact type. Remember, this is all coming off the incident table and it's the same exact field. And in this specific example, when contact type is self-service, it will display this specific emoji that's being referred to in the script. Now the burning question is where did I get the emojis? I got them from Emojipedia. For this demonstration, I typed in, for example, fire, like you'll see here. I navigated down, found the Apple version since I'm on a Mac, and then I would right click and select save image as. Now, just a couple of final observations. We'll notice here the priority column. I really wanted critical to be way different than either high, moderate, or low wanted the colors to be different and also the shape of the emoji. We'll notice that contact type has a selection for email and so does subcategory. I wanted those emojis to be different and distinct and we'll take a look at state, closed versus resolved. Again, different color, different shape.